Oak Island researchers finally found 220-year-old treasure. There is now overwhelming evidence that the money pit does, in fact, contain gold, which was the presumed location of the Oak Island treasure before its discovery. The area next to the money pit was still the most pressing issue. The team has recently made several exciting discoveries in the C1 cluster, including what may be the remains of wooden tunnels from the 15th century. Significant shards of silver and gold were also discovered, prompting speculation about the potential location of the original money pit and a tunnel leading to a treasure chamber. The Oak Island team was keeping a tight check on the progress, hoping without hope that they would finally find the treasure chamber or offset vault they had been searching for all this time. The B4C shaft is around 90 feet from its maximum depth. It's just a few feet north of Borehole Sea. Finding out that Oak Island researchers finally found 220-year-old treasure has been thrilling news. How did people in the 15th century use wood to build underground passageways? I don't see what the point of this was. The finding of a tunnel at a depth of 90 feet has been seen as a promising indicator that they are drawing closer to the site of the initial money pit. Each each excavation raises optimism that valuable objects may be found in the following grab or scoop. The discovery of gold in the water supports their theory that the precious metal was transported to the money hole. A large iron fastener is the most noteworthy artifact unearthed by the group, though they do uncover a few random bits of wood as well. The primitive quality of the craftsmanship suggests that it is at least a century old. They deduce that it happened before the money pit was unearthed, which raises the possibility that there are artifacts from that time period. One among the things is a hand-forged spike, which becomes the object of immediate fascination. The crew will investigate the rise since they understand the importance of following every possible lead. In spite of its unappealing appearance, the presence of hand-forged raw iron and signs of age make this artifact a significant artifact with the potential to provide light on the history of Oak Island. When the team reached a depth of around 130 feet in the B4C shaft, they encountered an obstacle in the form of bedrock. Due to time constraints, no further digging will take place in the money pit area this year. However, the data collected from the five enormous steel holes that were sunk in the months prior to this, one continues to lend credence to the hypothesis that the treasure that has been sought after for more than two centuries is still concealed somewhere beneath Oak Island. The group is aware of the difficulty created by the lack of available funds and is aware of the significance of both the development of new technology solutions and the efficient use of those that already exist in order for them to proceed with their quest. They have every incentive to continue their search for the elusive treasure since there is scientific data that points to the presence of large quantities of gold and silver below the surface. The crew maintains their confidence in their ability to advance as they continue to drill deeper holes and make further discoveries. They have determined the tunnel's altitudes, and the finding of the artisanal spike contributes to the increasing amount of evidence they have accumulated. Due to its significance, the team intends to conduct more C-14 testing. After exploring the B-4C shaft for more than 100 feet, Marty Legina, Craig Tester, Gary Drayton, and blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg return to the lab to talk about the iron spike they found. Carmen's knowledge and careful examination of the spike have given us hope that we may soon discover more about its background and importance. Carmen Legg determined that the iron spike recovered from the B4C shaft belonged to a medieval rock drill. He went on to suggest that the swag as the crew had discovered two years earlier had been used to sharpen rock drills, drawing a connection to the earlier discovery. He used the spot where the swagas were unearthed as evidence to pinpoint their origin. Rock drills have undoubtedly been around for quite some time. They are necessary for accomplishing tasks such as making holes in rocks or smashing big boulders. It is not difficult to see this type of rock drill being used during the time period of the Middle Ages. Because of this, there have been several fascinating theories put out concerning the history of the money pit as well as the riches that it is rumored to house. The party is pondering whether or not this item is evidence that they are getting nearer to the legendary riches. The rock drill is important to history since it was presumably used to build the money pit in the first place. This makes the rock drill an important artifact. When there is a possibility of finding a hidden room or chamber, the prospect of exploration becomes more alluring. After going through their most recent finds everywhere over the island, such as the stone-paved part in the marsh along the old stone road, 
The crew members debate probable suspects in the Oak Island mystery. This takes place after they have gone through their most recent findings. Is it possible that they have uncovered the guilty parties and are moving closer and closer to finding the solution to the mystery? To be more specific, what exactly is it that sits at the bottom of the financial abyss? Even if they do not yet have all of the answers, the Lagina brothers are grateful for the patience and dedication of their loyal staff and audience. When ships often sailed between the east coast of North America and the Caribbean in the late 17th and early 18th centuries, many people believe that pirates utilized Oak Island as a safe haven at some point during this time period. Some people believe that this event took place sometime in the late 17th century or the early 18th century. They could have unearthed the treasure buried by the pirate captain, but they couldn't be certain. However, as they proceeded farther down the hole, water started to fill it up. This was due to the fact that the island they were working on was located in an unorthodox location, namely on top of a glacial tumulus. In spite of the fact that no significant money has ever been discovered on Oak Island, hopeful treasure hunters have been making the trek there for nearly 225 years. Additionally, in the years that followed, the search area extended, with people hunting for money buried all over the island and not only in the hole that McGinnis and his friends had excavated, which was now referred to as the Money Pit. In addition, the term Money Pit was given to the location where McGinnis and his friends had dug. But what exactly is it that is supposed to be kept inside the chest? Numerous theories have been proposed as to what may be inside the Oak Island treasure. These range from credible to completely outlandish. The most common and plausible explanation is that it is the looted fortune of a notorious pirate who operated during the Golden Age of Piracy, which is generally accepted to have occurred between 1660 and 1730. Pirates and buccaneers like Edward Teach, better known by his pirate moniker Blackbeard, plied the waters along the east coast of North America, from Canada to the Caribbean islands. The governments of Spain, England, France, and other countries with a vested financial interest in the security of their commerce in this region were powerless to stop pirates from attacking vital colonial ships on their way back to Europe due to the high level of piracy that existed during this time. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when we post. The golden age of piracy in the Western Atlantic was ended by coordinated attacks on pirate ships, beginning with the Treaty of Utrecht, which ended the War of the Spanish Succession in 1713 and was signed by the major European powers. With the signing of the Treaty of Utrecht, the War of the Spanish Succession officially came to a conclusion. Many people wonder where the Oak Island money hole got its start. Geologists have concluded that it's highly unlikely that the money pit was an artificial subterranean vault used to store wealth. Because of the island's proximity to the ocean and its high water table, the island's bedrock is prone to erosion. As a result, a system of faults and caverns develops beneath the surface, which has the potential to collapse, resulting in the emergence of natural sinkholes. Despite this, the allure of the island has brought treasure seekers there. The stories have prompted and fueled speculation about the origins of the crater. Oak Island's mystery has grown into a fascinating story, a puzzling mystery that has further deepened as researchers have uncovered additional details. The assertions they made in which they expressed their certainty that gold could be found on Oak were replete with assurance. An unexpected revelation has stunned scientists. Find out what it is by clicking on the next video.